दिस इज इंडिया पैरासाइट हेलो गाइस इज दोन अपर एंड टुडे वी टॉकिंग अबाउट द हिंदी फिल्म ईब आले ओ डायरेक्टेड बाय द डेब्यूटेंट प्रतीक वाट्स ही को रोड द स्क्रीन प्ले बाय शुभम स्टारिंग शार्दुल भारद्वाज महेंद्र नाथ नूतन सिन्हा शशि भूषण एंड मेनी मो जस्ट अ वंडरफुल फिल्म इफ यू हैवन सीन इट गो चेक इट आउट इट्स अवेलेबल ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स डेफिनेटली चेक दिस आउट It is just a simple and ridiculous story. It's about a young migrant worker in New Delhi who gets this unusual government job of keeping away monkeys from public buildings. Basically that's the whole story. But it's not just that. There's a lot of things in the film which we'll discuss about. And I'm not calling it India's parasite to say you know it has a similar story or something like that. It has a similar thing of class divide, but why I called it that is because you know how entertaining this film is as well as how deep this film is. How it explores these characters we never knew existed. Their deeper meanings this sub text there's a lot of things happening in the film with the entertainment value being a satire and that's the reason i'm calling it india's parasite in that sense our protagonist anjani is a very unlikable character he's shy he doesn't have this survival instinct he has this male ego he has grown in the male privilege he's overconfident that he can do anything but he cannot at all but when the pressure strikes really hard his brain starts to work and he does something but what he thinks of is not very intelligent move we also see you know when he dresses up as a langur he is wearing a mask and suddenly he is an extrovert he has all this excitement he doesn't care about anyone taking selfies with people you know that mask has given him an identity to hide behind and that identity is getting all the attention which he always wants you know he and his family are migrant workers in delhi in search of good job good livelihood and this film is basically about the unemployment the youth in the country face it is something that the government is unable to handle but is also about the education system in our country he is 11th pass but he doesn't know english he cannot find good jobs for him the respectable jobs which he wants to do and all his search you know to find a new job leaving a note with his name and number at different places which all are logged to visually show us that he is not allowed anywhere you know whenever he's traveling in the metro we hear the announcement and those announcements are so dumb do we need to tell those things to humans but yes we do in our country don't spit in public don't take up reserved seats for women we have to announce that shit in our trains in our metros as if we are like the monkeys that don't understand these simple things we have to be told what to do we are just carefree like the monkeys we are doing anything we want uncivilized unmannered guys you're finding value in this video with the like button because when you do that you to promote this video and more people can watch it also can subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notification whenever new video drops this film also shows that these migrant workers if they even get a job they don't have the privilege to say no to anything anjani's brother in law he doesn't want that gun his wife is not happy he wants to return it but he cannot because if he does that first of all his salary will be cut down and he loses his job he doesn't have that privilege to say no which other people in other sectors enjoy the job is their survival and for a change we see a caring husband the wife is pregnant he's so caring he's taking care of her but the doctor she's generalizing it she's scolding him oh you are just pathetic men cannot take care of your women why you want a child and we can clearly see the privilege she's talking from before that you know she asks what medicines are you taking why you are not taking the other medicine you know she scolds her we are giving you medicine why you are not taking it but you can clearly understand they are not taking the other medicine because they cannot afford it it's too expensive but she is not realizing it that some people cannot afford those expensive medicines delhi as a place is used as a character you know the parliament area rajghat india gate they are so huge they are so spacious but they have no place for these people and in contrast the character's house is so small is so compact that three people cannot sit together when he leaves for his job then he crosses a train track then he gets into the metro to go to this place which is great big and then he comes back in that metro then he walks cross the train track and reaches home very similar to parasite you know where that family lived and how they traveled and went to this big house and that night when it's raining and th- there's a flood they come back from that big house and they are always going down and down and down and down i really liked how culturally they explored that part of delhi for someone who has lived in that place it's very well depicted you know the republic day parade the india gate different festival different marches of different religions all very well covered then of course there's this class struggle there's this dialogue used many times in the film अरे हम तो गरीब हैं हम गरीब लोग इट्स यूज सेवरल टाइम्स इन द फर्स्ट एंड द रिप्लाई इज हम कौन से अमीर हैं एवरी वन इज स्ट्रगलिंग दे इज अ क्लास डिवाइड विद इन द क्लास डिवाइड अंडर पुअर देर आर सो मेनी कैटेगरीज अंडर मिडल क्लास देर आर सो मेनी कैटेगरीज यू नो दीज आर सिंपल पीपल बट वेन दे आर फेड अप they will raise their voice they will get that gun and point it at you because they are fed up they want to show what their aukat is but just after that scene we see how he's crying 
like a little child because that's not him the gun does give him power but they are not looking for power they are just looking to survive and coming to the monkeys which were great part of the film i just love them the way they shot it i cannot believe how they did it and we see you know people worship them but they also want to get rid of them because they are a nuisance but when someone who's hired to do it does his work and on that route a monkey died he is beaten to death by the mob basically that's what the society has constructed an area for these people that they have to work for them but according to them in their limits that they cannot cross and at the end we see that he's losing his sanity he's losing himself because to survive you cannot be that naive you cannot be yourself you have to become clever you have to outsmart others to survive because that's what life teaches us at the end with that evil mask before him he has to become evil to survive he has to let go all the humanity in him so guys those are my thoughts on such a great film if you enjoyed this hit the thumbs up button share this video let me in the comments your thoughts if you haven't subscribed yet check out the videos if you like them too look on subscribing and i'll see you next time